हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन लास्ट फ्यू वीडियो लेक्चर्स वी हैव सीन एमसीक्यूज ऑन दैट मॉलिकुलर बायोलॉजी एंड माइक्रोबियल जेनेटिक्स देन म्यूटेशन एंड इट्स टाइप्स इन एंड इन एस्टर डे वी हैव सीन एमसीक्यूज ऑन इंडस्ट्रियल माइक्रोबायोलॉजी एंड डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ फर्मेंटेशन प्रोसेसेस इन दैट we have studied about the fermentation processes here and that was that is about the penicillin antibiotic now today i am taking a few mcqs on paper number 12 that is molecular biology and in that we will see mcqs on molecular biology techniques and applications molecular biology techniques and applications so that mcqs we will see here and here so whatever that video lectures up to which we have seen some mcqs that all video links of that video lectures these are i am giving in description box and at the same time today i am taking these mcqs from this online resource you also refer that website here and that is sanfoundry.com so here you refer this website because it is a very good website for your topics from microbiology so refer that i will also do the link in description box for this website here so let's start first question so today whatever that questions we are studying here these are from that unit 4 that is molecular applications and techniques here or molecular biology techniques and applications and in that we will see that mcqs on endonucleases or which are also called as that is restriction enzymes here or these are also called as molecular scissors so the first question is here the term endonuclease refers to cutting the dna sequences from option a only within the polynucleotide chain not at the end option b the ends of the chain option c anywhere in the chain option d exactly in the middle of the chain so the correct answer of this question is option a because these endonucleases endo means within and nucleases are those enzymes which cut down that polynucleotide chain so the term endonucleases it refers to the cutting dna sequences from the only within the polynucleotide chain not at the end so that's why the answer of this question is option a now see question number 2 the restriction endonuclease is having a defense mechanism in the bacterial system against foreign dna such as viruses but how it is able to protect its own dna molecule now see this question is related to the protective mechanism present in the bacterial system against any foreign dna molecule for example viruses so this bacteria because of having this restriction endonuclease these bacteria they protects their own dna molecule but how they protect this own dna molecule so the correct answer of this question is now see these are the four options here first option is by methylation of bacterial dna by restriction enzyme b option by methylation of foreign dna by restriction enzyme c option by phosphorylation of bacterial dna by restriction enzyme and d option by phosphorylation of foreign dna by restriction enzyme so students the correct answer of this question is e that is by methylation of bacterial dna by restriction enzyme so this is the correct answer of this question now see question number 
now the third question is even after replication how the modified dna remains protected so after replication also how this modified dna molecule get protected here so the first question option is it remains protected because of conservative mode of replication option b it remains protected because of semi conservative mode of replication option c the mode of replication has no role to play in the protection and option d it is again modified after replication so friends the correct option of this question is option b that is it remains protected because of semi conservative mode of replication so whatever the mode of replication generally takes place here it is called as semi conservative mode of replication in which whatever that two strands are present here one strand is new strand and another strand is old strand here so after dna replication whatever that two daughter dna molecules are, dna strands or molecules are form here so in each dna molecule one strand is new strand and another strand is old strand so here one strand is conserved that is nothing but half or semi that strands they are conserved and so that's why it is called as semi conservative mode of replication so this is about the question number 3 now see question number 5 see question number 4 how many classes of restriction enzymes are there so the correct answer of this question is 3 so the whatever the restriction enzymes are present here these are of three different types and these restriction enzymes these are called as type 1 type 2 and type 3 so these are the three restriction types of enzymes here or classes of enzymes so that's why the correct answer is here it is option c okay now let's see question number 5 type 2 cuts the d sequence in the following way option a within the recognition sequence option b at 100 to 1000 nucleotides away from the recognition sequence option c at 27 to 30 nucleotides away from the recognition sequence and option 4 it cuts randomly so the correct answer of this question is option a that is within the recognition sequence so this type 2 dna restriction endonucleases the cuts that dna sequence within this recognition sequence okay recognition sequences are those sequences which are recognized by the restriction endonucleases and they cuts within that dna sequence here for example and the example is type 2 restriction endonucleases so this is about the question number 5 the correct answer of which is option a now see question number 6 after cleaving the sequence the nature of the ends created by type 2 endonuclease is so whatever that type 2 endonuclease when it recognizes recognizes that particular sequence and makes the cut in that sequence here then whatever that two ends are form here that ends are option a the ends created are always single stranded option b the ends created are always double stranded option c either the ends are single stranded or they are double stranded option d one end is single stranded and one end is double stranded so the correct answer of this question is option c that is either the ends are single stranded or they are double stranded so that is the answer of this question number 6 and that is c option now next question that is question number 7 a sequence is having two ends 5 prime end and 3 prime end which of the following statement is correct regarding the nature of the ends option a the 5 prime end is having hydroxyl group option b the 5 prime end is having phosphate group option c the 5 the 3 prime end is having phosphate group and option d any group can be present at any end so students the correct 
option of this question is option B that is the 5 prime end is having phosphate group here because that hydroxyl group it is present at the 3 prime end and at 5 prime end there is a presence of this phosphate group okay so this is the answer of question number 7 that is option B now see the next question is here that is question number 8 blunt ends created by the restriction endonucleases can be joined so the correct answer is here option a that is it can be joined and that's why the option is correct answer or option is true and that can be joined by using a specific enzyme that is called as dna ligase enzyme and that process it is called as ligation process that is joining of DNA fragments we can see here or that ends okay so this is about the answer of question number 8 now see question number 9 so the question number 9 is the recognition sequence of BAMH1 so this BAMH1 it is the name of that restriction endonucleases in which that capital B it is taken from the genus first letter of the genus of that particular bacterium and that remaining two letters here that is AM these are taken from the species first two letters of the species of that particular bacterium which produces that particular recognition that is restriction endonucleases here and that alphabets after that these are the strands and then that roman numbers they indicates the that whether it is first enzyme which is to be discovered from that bacteria or it is second if it is first then there is the roman one is written so the name of this enzyme is here bamh1 it means it is produced by the bacterium that is bacillus amyloliquefaciens and the name of strain is h and it is the first enzyme which is purified from this bacillus amyloliquefaciens now see the question our question is the recognition sequence for BAMH1 is 5 prime end G slash GATCC 3 prime. The line represents the cutting site. What can be inferred about the ends from it? The options are the ends created are double standard. Option B the single standard end is 5 prime in nature. Option C, the single standard end is 3 prime in nature. Option D, to decide about the nature of the ends, more information is needed. So the correct answer of this question is option B and it is the single standard end is 5 prime in nature. So that's why the correct answer is B option. Okay. Now see the next question, question number 10. So the question number 10 is the recognition sequence of SAU3A is 5 prime dash GATC3 prime and that for DPN1 is 5 prime GA dash TC3 3 prime which of this statement is true option A the ends created by both the enzymes are compatible. Option B. The ends created by both the enzymes are not compatible. Option C. The ends created by DPN1 are single standard. And option D. The ends created by SAU3A are single standard. So the friends, the correct answer of this question is option B. That is the ends created by both the enzymes are not compatible. See question number 11, the recognition sequence is at times palindromic in nature. Palindromic means here when you read it from your left side, so whatever the meaning it has when you read it from left side, that same meaning has it when you read it from right side. 
so in both way it has the same meaning that may be for example you can take example here nurses run just i will write here so nurses n u r s e s yes, and run now see when you run read from this here from left side here it has nurses run and when you read from your right side it has the same meaning that is nurses nurses run so this is called as palindrome okay so here so the question is the recognition sequence is at times palindromic in nature which of the following statement is correct with respect to it option a the molecules which are cut by the same enzyme anneal only if the sequence is palindromic in nature option b when the molecules are cleaved by the same enzymes and the recognition sequence is palindromic in nature there is no effect on annealing option c there are increased chances of annealing if the recognition sequence is palindromic in nature and option d the term palindromic can be used whether the sequence is read from 5 prime to 3 prime or 3 prime to 5 prime so friends the correct answer of this question is option c that is there are increased chances of annealing if the recognition sequence is palindromic in nature okay so this is about the question number 11 now see question number 12 the question number 12 if all the nucleotides are present with equal frequencies and at random what are the chances of having a particular four nucleotide long motif so the answer of this question is a that is 1 as to 256 so the answer of this question is here a option okay so friends here we have seen about 12 multiple choice questions on this restriction endonucleases and which is the important part of that unit 4 that is molecular biology techniques and applications so watch this full video and if you like this video then comment share and subscribe this channel for upcoming videos tomorrow i will upload video lecture on mcqs which are taken from the different types of cloning vectors which are used in molecular biology or in genetic engineering so don't forget to subscribe this channel and also see the description box for after some time i will link or i will attach that links here which are required or which are the links of that previous videos okay thank you